Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has just made a trip to the 51st state. You know what I'm talking about, Ukraine. Janet Yellen made this unannounced visit to Ukraine yesterday, and she did so to support the nation's war effort against Russia, and also to bring Mr. Zelensky a lot of money. All the reporting, it said, Janet Yellen showed up to support the nation's war effort against Russia. And my question was, which nations? Ukraine's effort against Russia? Is Ukraine really a nation exactly? Or with the visits from top CIA brass to Ukraine over in recent years, with visits from the president of the United States, with visits from Janet Yellen, kind of seems like Ukraine is just a part of our nation, or maybe that Ukraine is just a part of our empire. And what we're seeing here play out is an imperial war between the United States and Russia over a buffer state, which Russia invaded. Janet Yellen says that uh, she was there to, quote, discuss critical economic assistance and our efforts to hold Russia accountable for their illegal and brutal war, to reaffirm U.S. support for Ukraine, and to give them $1.25 billion dollars from a nearly $10 billion tranche of aid to Ukraine. She says, America will stand with Ukraine as long as it takes. I think this is much more efficient than what we've been doing recently, which is we've been sending different aids to Ukraine, or we sent yesterday, or a few days ago, we sent the president of the United States. But I think it's much more efficient if we send the treasury secretary, because she's in charge of the money. So let's just cut out the middleman. <laughs> Let's get all that money going over to Ukraine. I actually, this year, as we prepare our taxes, I think I'm going to include Vladimir Zelensky as a dependent on my tax forms. Uh, if, if we're going to fund the war, I at the very least want to get some marginal tax benefit from it. My other question is, how easy is it to fly into Ukraine? I thought there was this bloody war. It was going to be World War III. This is the worst war zone in the world. And yet everybody flies in there. You've got all these world leaders, the president of the United States, the treasury secretary a few days later. I don't know. It just, that seems a little discordant to me. I, I'm not quite sure. Although I guess it was ever thus. The United States, this isn't just a Biden problem. The United States for well over a hundred years has owned imperial territories and conducted the business of empire. And, and that's what we're doing now in Ukraine. And so we can either whine about it and say, that's not how the constitution was set up or whatever, or we just recognize that's exactly what it is. And we cut out all the silly gobbledygook uh, about all sorts of abstractions and liberalism and democracy. And we say, that's what we're fighting. We are claiming some territory here and we want to, we believe it's in the American national interest for Ukraine to be on our side, not on Russia's side. A little skeptical of that imperial expansion, but the liberals who run our country and who effectively run the American empire, they're all in, and they've been all in for many, many decades now. Speaking of foreign affairs, we covered yesterday this, this new breaking report, this new conclusion out of the energy department that it turns out COVID very likely came from a laboratory in Wuhan not from the Wuhan wet market. That's what the Energy Department has concluded. That's what some other agencies of the U.S. government have concluded. Just wanted to take you on a little trip down memory lane uh, to the media's reaction to that theory just a few years ago. Because we don't know where the novel coronavirus came from yet, the conspiracy theories fill the void. Chinese researchers have already determined the coronavirus is 96% identical at the whole genome level to a bat coronavirus. 27 public health scientists from across the U.S. and the world wrote this letter in the journal Lancet condemning conspiracy theories and citing scientific evidence, including the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, that supports the theory that overwhelmingly conclude that this coronavirus originated in wildlife. Off the top of it, his head comes conspiracy theories on the Internet. And even yesterday, uh, you, you saw uh, some of his supporters, uh, some people on the Internet, uh, starting to suggest that it was like a bioweapon, which, which, of course, nobody said that. The president never even said that. Uh, just said it may have come out of a lab. Guy that didn't Tom go to Harvard? Harvard. I think so. I think, I think Tom is a Harvard uh, uh, guy, uh, very well educated. Tom Cotton a couple of days ago 
uh, spouting a conspiracy theory that the Chinese made yeah. this virus up. You have the lab and we'll go. go. Tom Cotton, one of Donald Trump's staunchest allies in the Senate, suggested that the virus might have originated in a high security biochemical lab in China. In the 1980s, I remember when the far left trafficked in rumors about HIV having been invented in CIA labs. The far right has now found its own virus conspiracy theory. Here's how CNN covered it in, in print. It's a headline. Nearly 30% in the U.S. believe a coronavirus theory that's almost certainly not true. Coronavirus almost certainly came from an animal, not a lab leak, top scientists argue. Lab leak COVID-19 theory is like something out of a comic book, virologists argue. This is my favorite one. Its origin is up for debate, but it wasn't made in a lab. And then finally, U.S. Energy Department assesses COVID-19 likely resulted from a lab leak. There it is. Thanks to Cabot Phillips for pulling all of those headlines there. That's how it is. That's how it goes. We should apologize to the bats. We should apologize to the pangolins. You should, not you, if you're listening to this show, you're probably much more open-minded. But the liberals out there should all apologize to their crazy conservative uncle and to their intransigent conservative grandparents or whoever they were all angry at. You uneducated rubes, I can't believe you think it's from a lab. No, the genetic makeup of the virus, it's so clear. All the experts say it's definitely not from a lab. It's not just COVID. It's not just the lab leak theory. This is how the news always operates. That's how the news is operating right now. Act accordingly. The rest of the show continues now. You do not want to miss it. Uh, become a member and use code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, at checkout for two months free on all annual plans, dailywire.com slash Knowles. We'll see you at the member block.